California. It is such a pleasure to be here with you today. I encourage y'all to get your drinks, get your food, and come over here and join us as we do our thing. We've got a very special performance for you. But before I begin, I would just love to hear a nice, big, roaring round of applause for all of the organizers of the first annual Date Harvest Festival here in the city of Coachella. All of the vendors and the families and everybody who set up the stage and the whole park. Thank y'all so much, sound and tech crew. It's a beautiful day here, and we're so excited to be with you. My name is Omar Fendom. Omar Fendom. That's right. <laughs> Coming from Los Angeles. But I'm originally from Syria, from the Middle East, where uh, this beautiful fruit that we're celebrating today also has its roots. I'm also joined here on stage by my good friend Clarissa Bitar, who lives not too far from here in the city of Glendora. And she's holding this beautiful instrument known as the oud. This is the Middle Eastern lute, the great granddaddy of the guitar, fretless short neck lute that we'll be performing with tonight. And my brother thanks Joey hey, on, the, hey. on the magical music box. Uh, we've got a really unique blend of hip hop and poetry and storytelling that we put together. And uh, I just wanted to start this off by rooting us in what it is that we're here to celebrate today. And that is this beautiful fruit known as the date. In Arabic, it's known as Temur. And it's got thousands of years of history that traveled from Mesopotamia all the way to this little spot in the southwest of the United States, which is now the largest date growing region in the world, or rather in the Western Hemisphere, which is pretty phenomenal when you think about how it had this unique trajectory. Um, there's a poem that I wanted to open this up with. I'll have Clarissa start off first. Um, but this poem is about a date poem, not in California, but in Spain. Uh, and this was actually first brought there by people from the Middle East in the Middle Ages. And they would look at these palm trees and see reflections of themselves and their lives transplanted and taken root in this new place. And I think about that as I think about these date palms here and what we're celebrating today. So I'll start this off for you. mighty date palm with roots in Mesopotamia eventually makes its way across North Africa and is planted in Andalusia, southern Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, where it had yet no relatives, no friends, but took root and took root proudly. Abdurrahman said, a palm tree I beheld in Arusafa rising in the west after traveling a great distance from its land of origin. I said to her, you, like myself, are far away in this strange land. How long have I been away, so far away from my people? You grew up in a land where you are seen as an outsider, and like myself, are living in what seems like the farthest corner of the earth. May the morning clouds refresh you at this distance, and may abundant rains comfort you forever, my beloved day palm. Yeah. So this song right here is about the city of Damascus, one of the longest continuously inhabited cities on planet earth. I got a question. If I ask you what's Damascus like, can you tell me that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife? Yeah. Said if I ask you what's Damascus like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they, huh? Ask me what's Damascus like, I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, when relishing in poetic embellishments, memory fails. See, this is Damascus. 
And this is a glass of spirit comfort I love But I'm aware of the fact that certain kinds of love can slaughter you in their wrath I'm a Damascene being dissect me into haves and have not But grapes and apples fall in your path Open my veins with scalpels, your ancestral chance of heart Transplants can cure some of the passion And why does mine stay torn and half thin? Minarets crying tears of absence Like trees that so speak years have passed them You can hear them asking for civil rights to live amongst tears of jasmine House cats take naps relaxing This is Damascus And what Armando Mancinero sang so beautifully here Is that it's the saddest thing in this whole wide world And this is how I feel for you only for you. So if I ask you what's Damascus like, tell me that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife, right? So if they ask you what's Damascus like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they huh, ask me what's Damascus like. I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, when relishing in poetic embellishments, memory fails, coffee grinders crackling, childhood reminders back when how could I forget when my reaction to cardamom strong fragrance yet and still finds Attraction as proud fathers wait for a sweet daughter's face. I'm asking my roots, heart, and language are here. How am I supposed to make myself any more clear? Is clarification necessary with love so dear? So much so there was no fear. How many Damascene bracelets were sold for this poetry here? Apologizing to the willow, wondering if my little siblings can hear. My parts been scattered cross coasts for years. Lanterns on horizons floating, saddened eyes have lost their hopes. To see it. Once again, the saddest thing in this whole wide world, and this is how I feel for you, only for you. So, if they ask you what's Damascus like, tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife, right? So if they ask you what's Damascus like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they huh, ask me what's Damascus like. I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, when relishing in poetic embellishments, memory fails. See, we're tossed around the shoreless oceans only to be hunted down by devils and demonic ghosts. Our battle garbage, rapid pros and rapid flows, it's apropos and so no war is open to them. That's for Show. Identity Arabness resembling a widow though Is there no festivus for the rest of his history books can show What will remain of poetry's originality is so Many a brown nose a liar gets to have complete control How we gon' ever write a verse to spit one killer still approach I wore the burden of my words upon my back until I grieve with shall remain of poetry When it is finally relieved the saddest thing in this world My lady is knowing that we were meant to be from the very start But that might never be So I think you know what he's saying by now and I hope you remember what I'm about to ask you. Yeah. Yo. If I ask you what's Damascus like, tell me that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. That's right. Said so if they ask you what's Coachella like, say it's a glimpse into the afterlife. That's what I tell them when they, uh, ask me what's Damascus like. I tell them that it's like a glimpse into the afterlife. A hellish heaven, heavenly hell, when relishing in poetic embellishments, memory fails. And that's life. He said, Hadi Dimashku, Wahadi al Kapsu al Rah. Inni Ohebu, Wabad al Hubbi the Bahu. Anad Dimashki, Lo Sharahtumu, Jessadi, La Sala Minhu, Anakidun, Watufahu. Wallo Fatahtum Sharayini, Bimidiaticum, Samertum of Idami, Aswa, Tamarahu. Zirat al Kalbi, Tushfi, Badam and Ashiku. وما لقلبي إذا أحببت جراح. Rest in peace, Nizar Qabbani. That right there was a translation of the Damascene poem, a poem about the city of Damascus, where these date palms that were first brought to the Iberian Peninsula had come from and took root. And it was the Franciscan monks and Jesuit monks who came here colonizing with the Spaniards in the 1700s that brought the mighty date palm here to this part of the country. And the story lives on with date palm farmers here in the city of Coachella celebrating at the very first annual Date Harvest Festival. Make some noise if you're having a good time in Coachella today. I'm happy to be here. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the ancestral caretakers of this land, the First Nations who were here long before the date palms. We understand and appreciate that the ancestral spirits abound in this beautiful valley, and we're grateful to be able to be here in their midst. 
This next one is called Yalla, which means let's go, written about the very first Syrian immigrants who came to the United States in the late 1800s. Hit me, Joey. Uh. We're on our way to little Syria. Yeah. Yo, we are a people who move, always have, always will be As wave after wave of invaders try to kill we Romans, Persians, Mongols, Crusaders, Turkmen, Frenchmen, countless other raiders Look, that's why I keep my boots out, waiting by the door Cause you could never tear my boots out, of this you can be sure Syrian to the core, much like world history Civilized yet vilified, shrouded in a mystery A grave misunderstandings like some tragic game of telephone Using our own gospels to justify hellish tones Prone, banging on our bones like some xylophone Music to their ears with the droplets of our tears But no more It is time for a new chapter in this land of opportunity With promises of rapture and happily ever after Lay behind the golden door At least for those who showed up voluntarily Or be it warily Yeah Yeah Let's go We on our way to little Syria uh. Yeah Immigrants and steerage, indigent, but ready to work. Dealing with jerks at the barge office. It was hard enough getting here. Seasick, sweating, now I gotta deal with that in here. Allow me to explain before you butcher my name. Label me unhirable, or worse yet, undesirable. I'm a man with a heart and a soul on a mission. Here to build a better life, not asking for permission. I know my rights, and I intend to be fruitful. Unlike the poor trees where we came from, famine left us faint from. Several hundred thousand deaths, rest in peace. West to east, journeys from a mountain to a treasure chest in Manhattan, homeland. Uh. Land grabbing, slowly redrawing the map. New world, New York, it's a wrap. Hey. Uh. Yalla. Ha. We're on our way to California. Ha. Yalla. Yo, let's go. If you're having a good time at Coachella, make some noise, yo. Give a special shout out to Mark Tedros and Aziz Farms. Yes, indeed. Egyptians in the house. <laughs> uh, yo, speaking of, this one is all about Arabic food. Dates, of course, are a big part of that food. But we have many other delicious foods. Like, hey, mjaddara, msabaha, mhammara, msa'a, sabanikh. Ma'anit, juzmos kuskus sukas bara, bet dunis, let's do this, benadora, mafrumis, tabulis, zaytunis, throw it all in a tanjara. I said it could be a kibbidna, will kibbid a bidna, or la kibbidna, or la la kila yatna bidna, il kibbe kibbidna, will kibbid a bidna, or la kibbidna, or la la kila yatna bidna. Melt and pop my, huh? That was some false advertising. As far as I surmise, it's really more of a matlube. That white part on top. Getting its flavor from the bottom Closest to the heat Watch us flip it though Exposing delicious flow Extraordinary style Y'all just on some typical Me, I am a Syriano Cicero Chickpeas, man, please Out of here with your Swiss cheese I am displeased Give me that shinglish Allow me to sing lead I said it could be a bit Now 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 it could be a bit تفضلوا شرفتونا اهلا وسهلا كم اون ترو تفضلوا شرفتونا اهلا وسهلا يو ان يو الكب كبتنا والكب ربتنا ولولا كبتنا والله لا كلياتنا متنا
كل اياتنا متنا الكبه كبتنا والكبه ربتنا ولولا كبتنا والله لا كل اياتنا متنا يا ميك سم نويز فور يور سيلف تو كومن اوت تو ذا فيري فيرست انيوال ديت هارفست فيستيفال Omar is my name, and that was my son's voice, Gibran, who's in the mix here today. He is three and a half years old, and he's got big, beautiful, curly hair. I love you, Habibi. Um, this next one is another translation of an old Syrian poem. This one is called Qari'at al-Finjan, a.k.a. the coffee cup reader or the fortune teller. And this one's about, well, it's about love and loss and fortune. And it goes like this. Yeah. You know, rather than our usual hand clap with this one, maybe we could snap our fingers and feel the gentle breeze of those you love. Jalasat wal khawfu bi'aynayha تتأمل فنجان مقلوب قالت يا ولدي لا تحزن فالحب عليك هو المكتوب She sat with fear in both her eyes, pondering this Turkish coffee cup inverted carefully. She worded destiny and time. Don't you grieve, my son? Love is written for you in the signs. Martyrdom. He who dies religiously, but love is blind. Your coffee cup is terrifying. A life of traveling and battling. A lot of love, a lot of death, a load of pain and ravels as you're chasing after every woman on this planet only to return like a defeated king. Lascivious and lonely. She said love is free. But why'd a fortune teller charge me a fee just to say that? Uh. She said, you're free to love, but nobody's willing to reciprocate. Now check it. In your future is a girl whose eyes alone can make you praise the Lord. Lips shaped like grapes, beautiful. Her laugh is musical. And still that sky above's a gloomy gray that rains and pours. Roadblock, deadlocked, immutable, sight unusual. The woman of your dreams sleeping in a palace tower. Guarded by both dogs and soldiers like some which will make you cower. in the princess of your heart in a slumber from the start. Suitors lost, climbing fences to a brooder. Who'd have thought? I read many palms and horoscopes before. But I have never seen a coffee cup resembling your coffee cup. Never seen sorrows like the sorrows emanating from your demi -tasse. Destiny to walk on dagger tips of love so many times a solitude of seashells weeping willow be wells if you stuck in currents of an oceanic love of females the details you love and lose a million times only to return like a dethroned king lascivious and lonely This right here is a Barbara Streisand sample She's singing a song called Love Is by John Lennon one of the greatest songwriters of all time may he rest in peace next verse it's by me though see I read between the lines like fortune tellers with a coffee cup. And I ain't talking about them frappuccinos with that frothy stuff. Our peoples are of equal standing in the eyes of God we trust. But we're the ones who show the blame when errorism's on me. But I'm sick of asking why. Want to kick up ash and fly. When a man is rich, whether in gold or knowledge, he should try to treat the poverty of other brothers with consideration. Knowing that the highest form of flattery is imitation. It's another iteration of the same bit of taste with that same limitation. Faint recollections of her face interlacing the bars of a jail where the rain Visitation, man, I hate being patient. Rather be the doctor, diagnose a higher dose of my occult, but not your general hospital scrubbing soap or opera. Your local waster, connect the dot, hopeful. Body of the finjan. Just out of curiosity, how many people here ever been in love before? Aww. That's like three of y'all. Well, I hope you find love, Coachella. I feel the love right now. Yo, let's keep snapping. Maqdooruka an tamdi abada Fi bahr al-hubbi Bighayr qulua Wa tuhibbu malayin al-marrati Wa tarja Kalmalik al-makhloom Hey, make some noise for yourself for coming out to the first Date Harvest Festival. Chef RT is in the building. Hey, hey, hey. I want to give a special shout out to all of the chefs here at this festival right now. Mark being at the very top of that list. 
We've got Chef Stewart, Chef RT, and a whole bunch of amazing, amazing uh, culinary personalities here with us in Coachella.